people ask me, how do you feel like being retired? And I said, well, there's three stages as far as I'm concerned. The best deal is to be in the action and win. And I spent most of my life in that action, in that position, and I liked that. Didn't like it in Albany when I was losing. Really liked it when I did better. The next best thing to be is being the action and lose. The worst is not being in the action at all. <laughs> How much of your success was just you, as opposed to uh, your abilities or, but how much was just your core personality? I would think that, uh, I don't know what portion of, I would have never been able to do what I did, what we did, without the training I got from Frank Smith, help I got from John Poole, the values that my father and mother gave me. I certainly needed the support of people like uh, Dan Burke and Warren Buffett. Warren, Warren Buffett had a great deal to do with my sophistication in business as it went along. So uh, I would say a combination of that and being in a very good business and being at least objective enough so that I didn't get my ego mixed up with my good judgment. So I stayed in business. I always stayed in advertiser supported businesses that I understood. And we never went out of that business. And I think some of the philosophies of management that Frank Smith gave me and maybe my na natural tendency to be willing to delegate responsibilities to gifted people uh, have helped. But without the people it would be no, and without a very good business, it wouldn't have worked at all. A lot of luck. A lot of Walter Annenbergs. A lot of people like John Jones down in Houston just were willing to make deals with us. So, and it's been a terrific ride, and, uh, you know. I wish I could do it all over again. God doesn't let you do it that way, though.